today I'm going to be showing you all exactly how to make a soy candle. This is Boss Vision and I make videos about making candles and how to earn money making candles. If you're interested in that sort of content, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. I also have an interactive workbook that will give you actionable steps with specific links to receive business funding and take your candle sales to the next level. I sell my own products on my website, senseofvision.com. You can use code YouTube for 20% off. I use Freedom Soy Wax from Soybeads.com. It has been a game changer for me as it relates to getting a strong hot throw with soy. And the best part is that you get a smooth top every time. Next, you're going to need a measuring cup to scoop out the wax. You'll also need a 64 ounce pouring pitcher and a scale. Next, we need to measure out the right amount of wax. I use the fragrance load calculator from Crafty Base. Here are the proper measurements to get the most optimal throw because Freedom Soy Wax has a capacity of 10% and we will be using a 12 ounce jar. To make measuring easier, I round it up from 10.9 to 11 ounces of wax and 1.09 to 1.1 ounces of fragrance, keeping the same wax to fragrance precision. This is a key element in ensuring the most optimal candle because using too little fragrance may result in a low scent throw, while using too much may overload the wax and cause candle sweating and no throw at all. We're going to blend two fragrances for this candle. Black Ice, a masculine clean fragrance with a touch of musky, mossy, woodsy, and amberge subtle florals. And then we're using Cocoa Butter Cashmere with complexities of warm spices, vanilla tonka, jasmine, sandalwood, and amber musk. I added equal parts of each fragrance and mixed them thoroughly. We're going to be using this matte black aura jar from makesy.com. It has a recommended fill weight of 12 ounces and an overflow fill of 17 ounces. Next, we're going to sanitize the jar using alcohol and a paper towel. Next, we're going to focus on wigs. Since we are using Freedom Soy Wax from soybeads.com, I can simply go to their wigs tab and click on the Wiccinator to the right. After answering a few questions, I am all set with their recommended wig. I am using LX14 wicks in my wick setting tool from Candle Science. Then I add adhesive wick stickers. Next, I'm bringing two cups of water to a rolling boil and adding our pouring pitcher of 11 ounces of wax. All of the soy beads have fully melted. I checked the temperature of the wax to ensure it was at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, I am adding in our fragrance oil mixture and stirring slowly for two minutes. Then I am carefully pouring the wax into the jar very slowly to make sure that we don't get any air bubbles. Next, I am using a wig clip to center each of the wicks to prevent an uneven burn. Next, we're going to create a candle label using Canva.com. Canva is this free resource for us as entrepreneurs to create designs at home that look professional. I would recommend signing up for free. They do have a monthly paid version that I use that is roughly $13. It only enhances the quality of the photos. It's not that much of a difference. Just in terms of creating a design, you just select create a design here and custom size. Always match the size of your design to the size of your labels. I'm using three by three labels from avery.com which is in inches so right here we're just going to change that from pixels to inches and put in three by three after we select create a new design it is really important to select an eye-catching photo i wanted to focus on something relaxing so in terms of relaxation that reminds me of the sunset. Just based upon these photos, they definitely focus on making sure they're in line with something that you would be able to create a product photo with. As you can see, they even have portrait here just to make sure that you're able to create something beautiful. Right now, I'm gonna be selecting this picture here as it 
stands out to me the most with the beautiful greens, blues, and oranges. It is important to include the name of your business, the name of your candle, the fragrance notes, where it is hand poured, how long it burns, as well as the weight. From there, I just download my design and it is very important to download it in PNG because that will be the highest quality print. After downloading my design, I go to avery.com. If you don't have an Avery account, I definitely recommend signing up if you use their labels. From there, you go into your projects and enter in the number of your label. In this example, I am using the Avery 2231s. So you could create a new project here and just type in the template number. From there, you click on the template, select the blank one, and insert your design. You have the option of editing all, which would mean you insert your design to all six labels or editing one. In this case, we're only editing one. A pro tip for making sure your labels do not offset is to make sure you place the picture in the far left corner and then expand. From there, you select preview and print and you can zoom in and confirm that your label is not offset. Then from there, you select get PDF to print, save, save it to your account. You can change the name. I don't ever do so, but you can. And then you select OK, open the PDF. And then once you select print, it is imperative for you to identify within the settings that it is fit to printable area. It is also important for you to change the settings on your specific printer from plain paper to glossy paper and then you're done let the candle cure for two full days then i trimmed the wicks one fourth inch and added the candle label as well as the warning sticker after adding the label i added a silver lid from makesy and headed upstairs for a candle burn test as you can see the lx14 wicks performed well with the freedom soy wax and the matte black auras Candle making has always been a therapeutic process for me and a great way to end the day with love. Speaking of love, if you want to learn how to prepare your candle business for the most popular love day of the year, then make sure you turn your notifications on because in my next video, I will show you exactly how.